Okay. Let's look at our expedition screen again. I think it will be time for us to finalize our deck and leave on out here. Like a grove outpost. Uh. Okay, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea of what I'm doing for the run, and I think I will be keeping base. Uh, turn the cemetery off. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the cemetery off because I've got the spider cocoon instead. Let's do it. Unfortunately, I've also tried putting the uh, vampire behind a village, question mark, as in the wooden village, and it does nothing, sadly. Oh, actually, if I do have the storm temple and I do want to get away from it, what about bookery so I can just throw the storm temple away? I like it. First off, arsenal in the least intrusive space possible. That seems right. Let's also get the combat and expedition speed up to their maximum now. Perfect. A grove and a ruin, so. Uh, this is going to be me wanting to set up for the eventual, uh, the, the eventual ruins situation that we like doing. Ultimately, I want the Grove to contribute towards a lot of useful hungry forests. So, like, if this Grove is here, then I can put a uh, Blood Grove there. And then I can go Ruin, Ruin, Ruin. And I have three of those Ruins in the area of effect of that Blood Grove. And then afterwards, I just have a Grove. And the grove is after the final ruin as well, so it's better. As in, the ruins won't spawn their enemies, their ranged enemies, into the fight where I'm in the forest. So here's the outpost. This one, I'm looking to try and uh, optimize around spider cocoons. A guard on your side to the adjacent battles. Adjacent battles exclusively. So that would go there, and then spawning on this tile would require the, the cocoon to go there, cocoon to go there, and then a cocoon to go there. So I've got outposts in this position, cocoon, 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 and each of them is only spawning onto a single tile. Alternatively, an outpost can cover these three positions. And then I can go Cocoon, which is spawning half before the wave and half after the wave. Maybe in the right side zigzag. I mean, if I put it here, then, you know, the Spider Cocoon spawns up and across. It's, it's just difficult to... I think I like this most. Give me some spiders. Pick up a, uh, uh, wait. I'll move the desert slightly in so that I can have the entire perimeter be the burning forests. So the spider cocoon spawns a uh, spider on an adjacent tile once per day. Oh, there's the forest and the storm temple. We can finally put those down. I say finally like I've been waiting for longer than no time at all. That looks pretty good for a stone temple possibly later. Nice. So we also get the crossbowman support for these two spaces. So these spider this spider cocoon is very handy in that way, I guess. Uh, another weapon. I mean, I'm just gonna... 
I'm just gonna forego looking at the stats on those and just slam down the ones that seem decent enough because they will be decent enough. Mm. Our first Oblivion. We'll hold on to that for Brit. Keep it thicket. Gives us the ability to continue burning. Beautiful. One more thicket, one more forest on the other side. Oh my god, the opening spawns here have been ridiculous for us. Instantly destroy the ziggurat. Gotta remember I need to prioritize destroying the village question mark as well when that spawns uh so this only wants to spawn on an adjacent tile and that's gonna be the one that we are prepped for all right damage chance on the amulet but it's also by far the highest magic shield I mean, we're finally amping our crit damage a little bit, but unfortunately, well, I guess 16% for 183. Like if if the the geometric best is is 10 times, we're kind of in the sweet spot right now. Boats. Hey, now we're out of it. Gotta get a higher chance again. Drop another ruins in the same-ish area. Rito, thank you very much for the tier one subscription for the 36th month. Says three ears. One ear above the average. There will only be more ears as time goes on. Thank you very much, Rito. Jerry Munson and Chad, welcome back to the Republic, bud. It's good to see you. Get that spider. Of equipment, significantly worse. Well, I mean, it's crit damage chance. Never mind, it's crit damage chance. That's the thing I need. Crit damage on you, but I already have the amulet of crit damage chance. Again, evasion. Uh, no, 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 no. Perfect. It's all as good as it can be at the moment. And happy birthday! It's a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Rita! Apologize for not knowing it off the top of my head, but I don't know even my partner's birthday off the top of my head. I know it's very soon. <laughs> uh, grow. June 26th? Thank you. I was figuring it was probably in July. I knew it was soon-ish. Oh shit, that's in six days. I should probably buy a gift. <laughs> Calendars. Uh, I need to just sit down and write the birthday of everyone I know in a calendar and just set it to repeat until the end of time. Because if I don't put things in a calendar, I just forget them instantly. Or rather, if I don't put things in a calendar, I become overwhelmed with anxiety that I am forgetting something all of the time. And probably am. A... Bookery for replacing some of these. Uh, I mean, the zigzag is pretty good for like a bookery lane if I really want to do that right now. I don't really want to get rid of all of the forests yet. I'll hold. Ooh, level up. Uh, old scars. Very early on. Hero gets boss one max HP for each trophy he gets since this trait is taken. Yes. 
Blood Grove goes in the position we had prepared for it. Forest burns. Drop some dooms. What did the bookery do? The bookery replaces three of the cards in our hand. After replacing 30 cards, it collapses and starts putting uh, enemies in tiles. Perfect. I think I will replace everything except for the first storm temple that I get. Thankfully, we've already got many of them. Another blood grove. Yeah. Well, be. I think I want to design another, another loop similar to this if I can. Oh boy. Let's get the safe thicket. Don't have to worry about that. I mean, ultimately, this looks like it wants an outpost. I think I know what it is. Okay, it's... Grove, Blood Grove, Outpost. So the general idea, uh, very quickly after this, is going to be, you know, the next thing is going to be the spider cocoon here. The spider cocoon is going to be spawning into this space directly atop, next to the outpost again. The grove has the ability to have its uh, units move a space into the adjacency, making it easier for us again um, to, to you know, deal with them because of the outpost. The outpost is dealing with these three spaces. The adjacencies can come out in this direction, but they probably won't. We're going to put a ruin here, a ruin here, and a ruin here. Then this ruin is already affected by this blood grove. This ruin is going to be affected by a blood grove that's going to end up coming over in this area, probably. Uh, and then this one down here is, we'll place that as late as possible and possibly blood grove it later. Blood grove up top would have been better. I have one here already. Unfortunately, in any of the other positions, it wouldn't have had access to many fights. So it's only got the surrounding four tiles. So in order to affect two of these tiles, it would have to be in the position that these things already are. Send them. Ooh, ruin. More attack speed on the scimitar. Some critical damage on the amulet as well. Evasion bonus, damage to all. I mean, this is just going to be replacing for higher stats at the moment, I think. Yeah, through and through. Can you use forests to blood grove since ruins are ranged? Forests to do the blood groves since ruins are ranged. Since the ruins are ranged. I think, if I understand your question correctly, but I also don't know if I understand your question correctly. Get one more thicket in this area. And then that's going to have to be a line of forests, because that's going to be the McKee. Good. I think I want the outpost down now. Oh, sorry, the outpost, the, the bookery. Because I'm getting more groves than I want to deal with at the moment. Significantly more than I want, actually. Oh, that's going well, though. Nice! Oh no, it burnt all the tiles again! It's fine, I guess. It gives us forests, which I do want. And sand dunes, they're all good. Oh, 
probably start putting some sand dunes over on the other side as well, I think, at this point. Far better position for him. A. Uh, attack speed and crit damage, crit chance, attack speed, bonus evasion, and crit chance again? Seemed good to me. Ah! Sand Spirit! Always here to ruin our day. Smokescreen. After losing 20% of his max HP in a battle, the hero will evade all damage for two seconds. I think that is a pretty sick pickup for us. I guess I don't want deserts as much as I want sand dunes, so I can just let those cycle from the, the bookery. Thickets and forests, I basically get the same effect out of because the forests transform. Let's get our first McKee on the map. Oh boy, that's a village now? That's not where I wanted that. Even slightly. Oof. I'm gonna need more Oblivion soon. I am liking the kind of... Wow, they actually got through a lot of our stuff there. Rude. I'm really liking the kind of, like, uh, districting, effectively, that's having to go on with the line of McKee between the sand dunes and the thickets and the burning forests on the perimeter as well. I'm going to have automatically pause at the end of battle turn to back on now. Especially with the bookeries, it seems the right time for it. There's another storm temple. Two sand dunes and a thicket, though. Beauty. Our next Blood Grove, which I will still want to keep access to, but how am I going to get it down? The Burns Woods also allow Blood Groves. I mean, they would have to be next to the road for me to see that, but it's possible. A Burning Blood Grove? Um. So that's already affecting those on the bottom side. I don't think I need to do that. I'm going to hold this blood grow for a little bit of time. We'll have the ability to put it down later. Yeah, there's even another round post for us. Am I letting those recycle too? Oh. Eight more in the bookery. The outpost is just help. Even if I don't think I need it. I could also just put one right there. So that's going to be touching the, the cozy camp itself. So that I can get a guard for what is probably going to be the space where we do the final battle. Oh, level 10 weapon. Damage wall as well as some defense. Love it. Big critical damage versus critical damage chance. We'll place the guitar there. Attack speed and critical damage on the armor. Incredible. Attack speed and crit damage chance. Reasonable there to damage to all. And to all a hellish night with that one. I still like the attack speed and the critical damage on the scimitar over just the individually higher damage here. Do I? No, I have two other pieces of equipment doing uh, attack speed. That's fine. I can replace that.
Sleep well, silly. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Oblivion on the village, 100%. Has to be. It's the worst tile by far for us. I can put a grove here. in order to get the Blood Grove finally covering this ruins. Then I just need Thicket and Blood Grove on the bottom side of the map. Okay, so that would be just Thicket there and then a Blood Grove one space up. Yep, still worth it. Still extremely worth it, I think, actually. Beautiful, beautiful forests. Thank you for helping me fill out these lines. No, it's in the same place! Why? I worked so hard! I just didn't want it there. I mean, I guess, you know, the enemy isn't in it at the moment. At least it's empty. Cold comfort, though. Ah, yes, another exquisite mirror for the chance to redirect Storm Temple lightning bolts or any other pure damage attack back at a random enemy. The ability to defend myself against my own temples and give them to the enemies instead. Seems good. Another thicket, thank you. Another storm temple, no thank you. Please give me a bookery soon. I would really like a bookery. Oh my god, that's a bookery. I'm gonna put that there. I'm absolutely throwing away as many of these cards as you will possibly let me. Another ruins. Annoyingly, what I want is to put that ruins there. I recognize that I cannot, though. Alright, then. Another Blood Grove. Boy. Put one in this space to extend for these two tiles. It seems so minimal. Oh no, the blood growth goes there. Oops. Almost forgot that. Almost. Thicket. Double forest. Single sand dune. I'll keep running. There's another outpost if I wanted it that badly. That all happened extremely quickly, but I think it still resolves perfectly for us. More forests, more thickets. Why? Can you give me oblivions, please? Oblivions? Damn it. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for golden cards. It's also fuss. Shield of Faith. I think I need Fuss. Fuss being received 7% less damage for every enemy, starting after the second enemy, so any of the tiles get overstacked. Uh, like if they have five enemies especially, then we are going to have a reduction of 28%. I'm just going to take Card Sharp because I can be more selective about which cards I'm even putting down in the first place. And I'm going to put another bookery down. Ruin Oblivion. A... 
All right, Outpost, what can you do? It's, it's all of it is just contributing to one individual fight is the part of this that feels so bad. There you go, we're gonna go crazy with it. Two outposts are gonna be spawning in this ruins at the same time. There is a grove, so we will occasionally have to fight before the ruins, but hopefully the grove is just gonna send its unit out into other areas. I don't know, it's not the best decision ever made. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna defend it as though it is. This one is just gonna be pure statistical increases again, if I had to say. Uh, that one's probably way less threatening than this one. It's probably extremely less threatening than that one. Okay, outposts. All good. Yeah, the sand spirit is definitely the most scary thing in that instance. Sand spirits, please! I mean, there is a bookery coming up soon, thankfully. Forest long line side. We're about to see if you can put a blood grove next to a forest, because that'll be up here. Don't have a space to put the ruins in, I think, at the moment. I do want to put down another bookery, to be entirely honest. Forest there. So, Blood Grove. Yes. Yes, it can be adjacent to a, uh, a burning forest. And that looks like it will affect it. So it transforms. Like, if I place it next to this grove, let's look. See how it doesn't change? But if I put it next to the blood grove, which would cause it to become a hungry grove instead, it starts changing. However, it changes to the exact same thing. I think it would become a hungry grove. I think if I put that up there, it would just become a hungry grove. Oh, we got another bookery, great. Oh, another forest, another forest, great. Again. Doesn't like dead trees. Yeah, you thought it would have, right? Regenerative forest and all. Get him, book boys. Thank you for the oblivion. Extremely. Appreciated. I will knock out the other village. <sighs> really? No, it's the Ziggurat. Ziggurat number one first. If two Ziggurats triggered at the same time and put two Sand Spirits into my fight, I would just lose instantly. I'm almost entirely certain of that. Thicky. Uh, I mean, if the outpost can affect areas, I should probably put it down. I haven't got a blood grove affecting the cozy camp. Oops, probably should have had one for the camp. 
that seems like a bad idea on my part. I almost feel like I should start making McKee at this point. Like that would just be more effective, but let's finish the forests. Great, that's done. Now I can start making McKee exclusively if I would like. Uh, let's get bookery with it. I'll still make the thickets into thickets, because they're still better that way, but all the rest of it's becoming the key. I really like the bookery. It might be one of my favorite cards so far. Just having more control over the ability to flush them out of your hand, get the right setup earlier. Uh. Counter, critical damage, low stuff on it. Pure damage and damage to all. Huge pickups. Damage to all as well as critical damage on the boots, but the other boots are already better. I think I'm just going to damage to all. Yeah, the other boots have 20% extra to our attack speed. That's insane. Weapon's dealing basically twice as much damage as the guitar at the moment. It's just too much better not to replace. Now I think that's immediately borne out in the next battle. More monkey. Or another oblivion and this time I mean I can take out abandoned bookeries. I will want to start taking them out at some point. But the ziggurats are still the worst thing for us. Another ruins I, mean, I could put it down probably. goes here. Blood Grove anywhere? I'm still not really able to put one down anywhere near the boss yet. 32 pure damage and plus 70 AS. Is it time to focus evasion and boss yet? Yeah, I'm I'm putting down as, as many things as I possibly can. I am going to try and push for the boss in this run if possible. Thank you. Oh, oh my god, thank you for letting me play that so many times. Deeply grateful. Talent fills your hand with oblivion would probably be pretty sweet right now. It'd be nice. Exactly what I'm thinking. Exactly what I'm thinking. Formidable. It's the ability to get the Blood Grove adjacency for the boss so that the boss with any less than 15% HP instantly dies. Seems by far our highest priority. And then next the ziggurat again. <laughs> no 
the bookery. Uh, at this point, probably not so much. What did the Marquis do? The Marquis, uh, uh, Marquis, rather, uh, is enemies deal 2% less damage, no lower than negative 50, and they attack 2% faster, no higher than plus 50. So at full effect, it is enemies have 0.75% effectively uh, damage. Surveyor. Oh boy. I mean, there are, I have a lot of non roll tiles surrounding things. That would be a lot of healing. There's also pickpocket for resource charge from an enemy while countering. I'm gonna reroll. Lethal weakness for each missing 10% of max HP. The hero has a 0.5% chance to attack for 10. Uh, sorry, a thousand percent damage. I'm gonna get the child of the forest. I really like the idea of just having the rabbit come along to some of my fights. Must doggo if doggo available. <laughs> Beauty. Ooh, another Oblivion as well. Thank heck, couldn't have been a moment too soon. Um, more outposts? I think so. Let's go now. Post there and there. I will have as much help as I can in these fights that I project to be more difficult than the average one. Oh my god. It's nothing but riches. Ah, and again. I cannot believe how often Card Sharp has actually come in clutch here. 10% chance to keep playing the card after placing its tile. That's given us at least 12 cards over the course of this run. Now. Attack speed and counter, 14% apiece. Attack speed and counter as well as evasion bonus on the amulet, highest level amulet we have access to. I think we'll define around those. A Dirk that does seven damage and seven evasion bonus. I mean, that'll just be the replacement for the other Dirk. The AOE eight damage to wall is still really important to me. Losing the 20% attack speed from the boots that we currently have in order to just get three defense and then attack speed and some evasion bonus. Do I have evasion bonus on anything? I do have evasion bonus on different, on a couple of different pieces of my stats though. That's actually probably still better. It's a lot of evasion overall that we end up with. All right, one more loop should probably get us the resources for the boss. Destroy that upcoming village. Didn't help us at all, but I did it, importantly. I'm just gonna also put a single sand unit up there by itself so that I have more adjacencies to play with if I need them in the future. So damn powerful. We might even try and continue for a while after the boss if it's possible. If it's allowed. Another thicket in the forest. Same area. Thicket go elsewhere. Down here, we'll just set up for more thickets consistently. Oh, boss spawn. 
It is finally time to meet you. The incursion radiates with powerful energy that devours spice. Spice and tame itself. Time and space as well. I might have liked to have a slightly better weapon in my other hand before going in, but I can't sharpen my pencils forever. Eventually they just have to be sharp enough. God, the sounds as it powers up. Again. Oh, Lydian. Do I need to oblivion anything here? I don't think so. I don't think anything the enemies do can even... can even really change this. Gonna remove that village. Pick it safely down in that area. Do I want to also play this desert? I guess so. The ziggurat hadn't spawned anyone, so I effectively believe it's not going to spawn anyone by the time we get to the incursion. Boss time. We'll stay. This is this is gonna give us like yeah boss combination, boss uh, uh, discussion rather. Know your place, dog. Not the most polite greeting I've ever heard. Oh, apologies. I wasn't talking to you. My loyal hounds like to fool around sometimes. Keeping discipline is important. And as for you, my little hero, know your place, dog. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, let's see. Sometimes the need to kill, the need arises to kill the whole herd in the pen. But not without reason, of course. As soon as you start the culling, a couple of bulls break the fence and run off in the forest. But that won't do. Every last one of them has to die. That's the whole point, you see. And that is where the hunter comes in to drag down every rebellious bull and shoot it dead. So don't even talk about politeness to me, my little hero. Not only do you avoid the universal annihilation, but also resist this magnificent undertaking. How's that polite? I've heard enough of this kind of talk. I beg your pardon? All of you seem to have some wonderful and profound reason to participate in this cataclysm, and you all ignore the fact that we all want to keep on living. It stinks to be exterminated, you know? Frankly speaking, I don't give a damn. I just enjoy the hunt. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'll feed you remnants to the world of my hounds. They'll eat it all in one bite, as if their stomachs were black holes. I hope your hunting skills are as bad as your jokes. Now that matters, the joke will get you very soon. Second. Oh. Okay, Hunter, pack sense, gains plus 100% damage buff and heals for 30% max HP each time an ally dies. Hunter's horn fills the hound's attack bar by 50% instead of every second attack. Ah, I see, right. So every second attack comes out faster. Got it. Um, Star Powder. With every shot, or does it slower? I'm possibly not interpreting that correctly. Star Power. Uh, with every shot, distracts attackers from himself if they have other targets to attack. They also have the Hunter's Hound, which has pack sense itself too, cosmic type. 
and jaunt. When hit three times in a row, it escapes the astral plane and distracts attackers from itself. Returns after three attacks, dealing a critical hit with 250% maximum damage. Why? That's, that's my body. I thought we were going good. I thought it was all okay. I mean, I miss out on the, the mirror and the painting and all these things. Yeah, it was not good. That did not work as well as I was hoping. Use the skulls. Well, Mud Hot can get upgraded, so can the Canteen and the Healer's Hut. Canteen. Hero can rest before fighting a boss, as well as plus 6% to the Campfire's healing power. Um, you know, it's theoretically possible. What else do we have out here? There's the warehouse if we wanted to store more. River! We can build the river now. It's unbelievable, but it's actually here all along. What a nice place you've chosen to set up camp. I can't believe it. I've got enough questions about a thing to fill a river. To fill an ocean, you mean? There are no more oceans in the world. The river is the biggest body of water there is. How are we even supposed to know about the ocean? Just look at it. All this water is coming from nowhere and it goes into nothing. Is it the same water circling around or is it something constantly making new matter? I have no idea. Do you want to see if it's good for swimming? Of course. I can upgrade the watchtower as well. Guessing that's why the smelter couldn't go below the forge. All oh, right, it had to be here, I see. That makes sense, leaking this. I can build another forest. Okay. Those are going decently well so far as well. Anything else? Another farm. The farm will have just all of its adjacents filled with that. There we go, yeah. I'm gonna make another farm over there. I don't know if it's a good idea. It might be an awful idea, but it looks nice and it feels nice. That's enough. Uh, supply time. Let's see what we can do here. So in jewelry, plus 2% uh, heroes damage against all undead, against all undead, the ability to redirect the storm bolt, increase the damage done to the boss by 4%. 4% more damage than other bosses is pretty big. Jeez, heal after killing. Uh, okay. I'm probably not going to put Vampire in this next one, so I'm going to give myself just one cheese in that slot. Also on base HP for every food item placed in your camp. Unfortunately, with yeah, that not doing that. 10% chance to receive a ration after killing a rat wolf. Extra damage against rat wolves. <sighs> I mean, am I going to put the Blood Grove into the next build? I guess. Should probably take that then. Good night, Unknown Asphalt. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. Jeweler's Lens absolutely has to be one of the things we pick up. Old Frying Pan. Additionally heals the hero for 15 more HP when they pass through the campsite. I mean, it seems like an easy one to put in. We'll take it out if we need more space. Skinner's Knife also kind of cool, but... Plus on max HP for every resource gained during the entire mission, and heals 5 HP every time a new item is equipped. 5 HP every time a new item is equipped is actually like an incredible way. Two times. Two times we're doing that. It's an incredible way for us to get some more stats if we need it. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Some more health stats. And I can also upgrade the... The crossbowman before we go out. This little tower will let us see monsters from even further away from camp. But don't you worry. These beasts won't scare my men. I think it's time to have a look at another card. The river. Doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. So these, I assume, are the landscape tiles. This full set down here. So we could have a river running in between all of the sand dunes and thickets that we want to double the effects of. 